So congratulations! You have decided that your next family vacation is going to be an RV adventure and we are so excited for you. But if this is your first time that you're doing one of these types of vacations, it might be a little bit stressful between trying to keep these kids safe and entertained. But do not worry, my name is Katie. I am here today with RV Share to give you our top tips and hacks on how to RV camp with kids. So today's tips are gonna help you maximize your fun time together and minimize some of the stress that can come along with planning. And as always, if you like this video and find it helpful, make sure to hit that like button below. And if you're still on the fence about whether or not this is the right vacation for you, may I suggest that you watch this video right here that will walk you through why we think that RV vacations are the best vacations for families. All right, let's jump into number one. Tip number one, picking the right destination and campground. Now, picking the right destination is not the only key to success for this type of trip, but it will certainly help you get off on the right foot. So these next suggestions are great places to travel with kids, but moreover, that they are a great option to entertain the whole family. These trips are ideal because they're going to have something for everybody, meaning that you are going to be having fun in no time. Place number one, a local campground. A local campground is a great option for a quick weekend away with the kids. The kids are going to love it because they are gonna have such fun time getting there in a short amount of time and you are gonna love it because you're not gonna have to pay a lot in gas to get there and back. Now specifically within the category of local campgrounds, you're gonna wanna look at ones that cater to kids. This means ones that will have kids' activities and kids' play spaces. Think pools, think outdoor jungle gyms, think splash pads. You'll be surprised to know what is out there when you start looking. Okay, destination number two, the beach. We have not met a kid that has not liked the beach yet. I have met kids that don't like sand, but that feels like a different story. Um, but with RVing, you have the option to be up close and personal to the beach. You can be beachside and front row and wake up and see the ocean from your window, or depending on where you live or where you're camping, you can actually camp on the beach. And on top of all of that, a lot of beach towns have family-friendly boardwalks where you can go out and grab something to eat. Some have a lot of entertainment options and a couple even have amusement parks in case you guys wanna take a break from the seaside. And speaking of amusement parks, our recommendation for trip number three is amusement parks. So did you know that Disney has its own RV park? It's true, it's called Fort Wilderness, and it is easily one of our most popular destinations with RV renters. But Disney is not the only game in town. There's a lot of local and national amusement parks where you can go and have fun with the family in no time. A lot of them will have parks right on site, but if they don't, there's usually often uh, campgrounds right around the park that you can stay at as well. Destination number four is our national and state parks. We are so lucky in that this country is chock full of beautiful natural wonders and a lot of those live right within our national and state park systems. And for this reason, we highly recommend that you visit as many as you possibly can. For many national and state parks, they have camping right on site, but if those are booked up or if they do not, there's usually a lot of camping options and private campgrounds right around the park to cater to the overflow needs. You can use this opportunity to teach your kids the many fun ways that we can engage in nature. You can go for hikes, you can go for bike rides, you can go horseback riding, you can canoe in some of them. The options are really endless. Not only is it a great way to experience nature more, but it will keep them happy and healthy. It's important to note that most of our national parks are involved with a junior park ranger program. This is a program that is developed for kids specifically to help them engage with the park during their visit. It helps them to learn more about the park during their trip and help them protect the park as well. They usually receive this cute little sticker, a little booklet, and they get to engage with the park rangers on site, so it's both educational and fun. And finally, it's important to note that the national parks also offer their Every Kid Outdoor program, which allows children in the fourth grade to receive free access to public lands. So there's a ton of ways to engage you and your kids within our national park system. 
Tip number two, teaching basic camping and survival skills. So before you head out on the road, it's important to teach your kids a couple of camping basics. Even if you're going to be staying in a resort style campground, getting closer to nature is such a great teachable moment for your kids and your family. And in this case, we really can't recommend local field guides enough. This is a way to learn about the lo local flora and fauna that will be in your area. Usually you can purchase these online or sometimes they'll be in the camping store as well. For young kids and toddlers, it's probably going to go over their head, but being out in nature is really great anyways. And for older kids, it's totally fair to get a little more hands-on with teaching some camping basics. Fire safety, water safety, tying knots are all really great places to start. Tip number three, prep for the bee monster. One trouble that you might run into when you're RV camping, especially if the weather is not cooperating with you, is fending off the bee monster, which is getting bored. A few ideas to help stave off boredom for you and your family during bad weather is to play some games. Here's a few ideas for you to help your kids from complaining about being bored. Movies and video games are great, but board games are great for bringing people together and spending a little bit more face time one-on-one, -on -one, so we recommend going that route. If you've got younger kids, camping themed books will help them get into the spirit of things. You can find a variety of travel specific toys and activities. For example, there is road trip and campsite bingo and scavenger hunts. And nothing sets the mood better for spooky story time than some rain. One of the greatest things about RV vacations is the ability to disconnect. So we really do recommend that you avoid screen time if you can, but at the end of the day, you gotta do what you gotta do. Number four, a little meal prep is going to go a long way. One of the best things about RV travel is the ability to bring your kitchen with you and save some money and not have to go out to dinner every single night. But you also don't want to spend all of your time cooking and cleaning up after meals and that is double fold after a long day of adventuring with your kids. So what we recommend is that you have a few meals pre-planned and some snacks along the way to hold people over in between meals. Now the goal here is to keep it simple, to keep it easy, but also to prove that cooking while camping does not have to come out of a can. So in the description below, we have linked some of our favorite RV camping recipes. As much as we here at RV Share love RVing and love RV camping, we can't say that it's going to be perfect because it isn't. But the mishaps and the blunders along the way are kind of half the fun and they make for the best stories. RV camping might be a little bit harder than you might expect and there is a little bit of a learning curve and requires a little bit more upfront planning, but we do think the effort is really worth it. Now, if you're just looking for a relaxing, luxurious, turnkey vacation, this might not be the best for you. But if you're looking for a truly unique and memorable experience and to spend some quality time face to face with your family and your loved ones, this is going to be a great option for you. You're going to walk away feeling like you accomplished something big and you really did. Awesome. Okay. So that is everything today. Thank you again for hanging with me on these tips. If you think that I missed anything or if you have any hacks for those parents out there, drop them in the comments. We always really appreciate extra tips and tricks along the way to make this more fun and easy for everybody. All right. Until next time. See ya.